Hey family, what's going on? Klaus here, and welcome back to Elder Scrolls for Oblivion, where last time we wrapped up the Knights of the Nine Quests. And I took a good week or so off from filming Oblivion to just kind of reflect, to just kind of look around and say, okay, look at what we've done. I have finished the Assassin's Guild, or the Dark Brotherhood. I finished the Thieves Guild and became the Grey Fox, and have now become the... The, the Crusader, the Holy Crusader, I mean, look at me. This was never my intention to become this, uh, but it, it, it is what I am. And uh, the benefits of wearing this stuff is actually quite amazing, like Fortify Restoration on the boots, and the Cures gives us uh, Fortify Restoration and Fortify Health, and the Gauntlets give us more Fortify Restoration and Resistance to Disease. The Greaves give us Fortify Restoration and Destruction. Um, the Helm of Crusader is amazing. Look at this. Restor fortify Restoration, but also Fortify Personality. 25 points on self. So, I mean, it's it's nuts. And then Sir Amiel's Ring doesn't give us any benefits, which I find a kind of weird. But, um, but yeah, so this was never what I intended on becoming as a character. I always wanted to kind of stay more, more neutral, but that's not the direction that the game sent me. So, um, I need to go to the Imperial City now. This is my plan. Go to the Imperial City now. And dump dump some things. I'm gonna sell some stuff, and I'm also going to uh, put some stuff away in my office there at the uh, Thieves Guild. And once I get that done, then I'll have empty inventory once again, and I'll be able to, for lack of a better term, start over. Uh, we have done, uh, I've done a lot of things, negative things for the world. Again, I'm the leader of the the murder guild and the the leader of the of the robbery guild, basically. Um, and, and then I, I did this quest to kind of, you know, a a give myself a clean slate here in Cyrodiil so that I can start becoming a good guy. And not that I want to run around looking like the Holy Crusader. Okay, this is not my, again, this is not really my intention for the game. Um, but it was just kind of a natural progression. So now I'm thinking, let me first, uh, I got to wait here, apparently 11 hours. Um, I'm just going to sit here. Maybe take a nap on the the steps. Actually, wait a minute. Oh, well, it's too late now. I was about to say maybe I can go train with Rosan if I haven't already. I always lose track of that. Like I said, it's been about a week since I've logged into the game. Took some time off, reflected, and have come up with a few directions for the future. So first of all, like I said, I'm going to try to sell some things that I don't need well anymore. Met. Hello, Aurelin Way. How are you doing today? Only quality goods for sale here. Yes, you say that every time. All right, so best selling at... 89%. Let's just see if we can get away with 90% selling. And let me see what I can sell here. I just want to get rid of the extra stuff, like copper amulet. Let's see if we can get away with 90%. You've made a good bit of gold. Wow. 90%. Dang. Okay. Uh, can I get rid of anything else? See, cure disease. Uh, look at this. We got two portions of cure disease. One that's expensive and one that's cheap. Obviously, I want to try to sell the expensive one. Let's see if we can get away with 91%. You don't expect me to make. Didn't expect that. Okay, so but we can get away with 90, right? <laughs> nice. All right, so let's see. Can we get rid of anything else? Uh, sea Stride's still kind of cool. I want to give that a try. Um, alacrity. Oh, al alacrity. Don't need that. I'm just going to get rid of a few things and then make my way over, dump some stuff, empty out my inventory, and then we're going to start a brand new direction. And that, that brand new direction will include... Drum roll, please. The Fighters Guild. Uh, we've been all over the place um, for the, all the negative things, and now it's time to go all around the place for some positive quest lines. And a positive quest line begins with the Fighters Guild. We've also got the Mages Guild. We have the Arena, which is not really going to send us around anywhere. It's just a lot of fighting, which is still fun. Um, common Soul Gem, Greater Soul Gem. I think the... Lesser Soul Gem. I should probably go do those Shea Gorath quests at some point so I can keep th uh, quit thinking about all the Soul Gems and what I need and what I don't need. Uh, but if I sell them to her, then I can always come buy that's one if I need it. You drive. So. That's a, that's a fair deal. Actually, wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. Come back and see me again. Yeah, yeah. Always. Always. You're my favorite. I think I actually have the quest line for Shea Gorath. I think it's right here. All right, so I have to have a lesser soul gem, lesser, a head of lettuce, and some yarn. Okay. Hi. I hope I can help. So I can sell business. the everything except for a single lesser soul gem. 
which is fine. Again, uh, this is all for the very sake of um, emptying out my inventory and kind of uh, getting a fresh start. You drive a hard bar. Yeah, so that's a lesser soul gem. I can keep that. Two Varla stones. These things are expensive. Look at this. Wow. And then welcome stones too. And then uh, flawed topaz. Got myself a pearl. Got myself a ruby. These things don't matter. Uh, and then that's that's it. Okay, cool. So I have now 14,000 gold. 14,000 gold. So if I actually were to come over here, I have a couple of items that I can start trying to buy. And I have a really, really good um, a relationship with her to where she'll actually give me these things and I'm about to purchase from her at probably the best price that you can get, all things considered. But she has so much junk right now, it's kind of hard for me to figure out. <laughs> exactly what I need to get here. Um, let me see. They're all very, there we go. Frost Crag Alchemy Lab. Frost Crag Bedroom Area. Frost Crab Library. Frost Crab Crag Vault. These are the items that I've been needing to buy for a very long time. And I think this is the perfect opportunity to do it. Also, I think there's something else I need to buy too. Um, something having to do with candles. I don't know. Mage tallow candles. Nice. All right, those are very expensive. Okay, so let me just let's just buy them. A bargain at any price. I think I need both. I let that go oh, too cheaply. So expensive. All right, I'm going to go ahead and buy these two. I think this will actually complete the frost crag spire. Thank you. Come again. Sure, and now I, I went from... You in some of my oh, that was 10,000 gold. Oh my goodness, that was brutal. Cool, so I've now purchased everything Aurelin Way had available for the Frost Crag Spire. So now that I've done that, and I've emptied my inventory to a point, I'm gonna go to the waterfront, and I'm gonna go have a chat with my inventory, basically. Um, and we're gonna grab my stuff, and we're actually going to haul it to the Frost Crag Spire, because I think that the, the Spire is... It's always kind of been my real home. Yes, I've I own many many places, uh, many many locations that uh, you you can consider your own, like your, your the places that you live, right? You can sleep there, you can store stuff, but the truth is, there's only one real home, and mine has always been Frost Crag Spire. So let me go ahead and grab as much stuff as I'm able to. Now that I've dumped some inventory, I'd like to move everything over and I'm probably gonna have to do it in several different waves and I may do it a little bit off camera but um yeah this is the beginning of something brand new and I believe yeah I think I put everything here yeah okay I don't have actually there's a lot of stuff here yarn there's my yarn folded cloth there's another lesser soul gem okay so the only thing I'm I'm missing is a head of lettuce uh if I can find a head of lettuce then I can actually probably go ahead and go do the share Gorath quest too which would be kind of cool so Look at me, I'm just taking everything I can get my hands on. Tons of human blood. You know what? Why not, right? Um, lots of Nern root, lots of vampire dust. Just all the things. Look at this. I've almost maxed out my inventory. I've actually, ooh, I'm going to get all of it. Nice. Look at that. 285 out of 295. I have emptied out my inventory. Let me see if I've, I don't think I put stuff anywhere else that I'm aware of. Obviously, there's things here. That are interesting, transfer orders and all that, but I'm gonna leave that there for nostalgia purposes. Okay, and then over here, nope. Okay, well, cool. Then I have already. That shows that I haven't really accumulated that much stuff, right? If I can haul everything that I own in in one go, then I obviously haven't done a whole lot to influence the world. But I mean, you know, that's gonna change. That's gonna change soon. So, um, yeah, I'll come on through here and make my way up to the Frost Crag Spire. And this is, again, going to be my new home. It's up here next to Bruma, which is my favorite city. So it kind of feels right. And I love the mountains. I love the snow. I, I mean, I, li I live in real life in a very hot climate, but I love the snow. It is just, it's, it's beautiful and it's serene and it's just great. So I'm, um, I, I really appreciate this place just because I think it's so opposite of where I live in real life. But all right, let's go up to the Frost Crag Spire. This is gonna be our new home. Remember, we inherited this place from my uncle, apparently, uh, who was a wizard. Let's go see what we have 
accumulated here. Yep, so I've got a, now this, I think it's outfitted to every single room. So now we have these little tables with a single candle. So, so serene. We got books of like basically every kind um, all the way through here. So a couple of, yeah, just all kinds of books. I mean, I never really find any use for these books, but I still think it's pretty cool. Okay, and then uh, we have ourselves a portal to a vault. We'll go check out here in a minute. We also have this thing to the living area. Uh, let me see. Petty Soul Gem, Lesser Soul Gem, lots of different things for alchemy. Here is a book on Manual of Spellcraft. Nice. So if I come up here, then I can actually deposit the Mage Tallow Candles. And now this is an altar of enchanting. Now before you actually get... Um, let me do this one too. Um, before you actually get this Frost Guard Spire, the only way you can get things like this is to join and get a really, really high level and the Mages Guild. Uh, what, what basically what this does, this allows you to enchant your items with different magic, different enchantments, different enhancements. Um, and then over here, you can actually make spells, Altar of Spell Making. You can see that at the bottom. Then we also have the Atronach Altar. So if I click here, what type of Atronach do you want to summon? I can summon either a Storm, Frost, or Flame Atronach. I think I mentioned this in a previous episode. There's three different types. So I don't know what kind of uh, salts that I have. I know I have Flame Salts on me. I'm gonna go ahead and, sh oh, I have to have three. I thought I only needed one. Come on, man. Hold on, Let's see what I've got here. Oh, wow, I'm not, was in the wrong spot, I guess. Fire salts, I've got one fire salt. Okay, that's a bummer. All right, well, I, I want it. basically you can summon an Atronach and it kind of kind of works as your, your guardian. It's pretty sweet, but I've, I've got to get more salts first. So, let's go up to the living area. This is where I'll be storing everything. I love this. This room is just amazing. Look at this. Like, beautiful banners up here. We have a, an alchemy space. It gives you alchemical brilliance by standing here. It makes you a better at, at, at alchemy. I don't really care about alchemy all that much, but it is still a cool thing. We got different items that are stored up here. And if you look up here at the jewelry box, it gives you Penta Magic Loop which is amazing. It fortifies every single type of magic that you can ever need. Um, I don't, again, I don't do much magic. The, a game at dinner. Alchemy skill increased. Cool. I'm gonna leave that there too. If I ever need extra money, it's there. But here's my bed. I would have chosen a bigger bed for myself personally, but you know, it's all good. And also we have ourselves a little garden filled with every kind of alchemy that you can ever think of. Every single kind of ingredient. Um, and, and it's unlimited. I mean, obviously, you have to give it time to, for it to grow back if you do harvest it, but it's here. And I think I actually saw... I think there's a Nern root in here, too, but I don't remember... It's hard to tell amongst all the green which one's which, but anyway. Oh, and also there's a group of, um, of Oblivion Realm, which we haven't actually been to the Oblivion Realm, like, officially. But, um, this is the type of stuff, this type of, um, plants that you can see. In oblivion so this is just a really useful like helpful place to own not that i use it often but it's still pretty cool now before i go up to the main level or i've already been to the main level before i go to the draw mountains let me show you what goes through this here this is first of all an amazing view to the north uh to the north and to the east uh bruma is right there to the west look at that isn't that amazing that you can see that this game is is not young but it's just beautiful um so it looks like they sh there's Shaden Hall down there too. Wow. Um, but yeah, so is that Shaden Hall? I believe it is Shaden Hall. Let me confirm. Yeah, it's Shaden Hall. That's awesome. But yeah, so these portals take you to every mages guild in the game. Skingrad, Anvil, Bruma, Gavach even, um, Imperial City. Every single city I can teleport to from here, which is amazing. I mean, it's the same thing as fast travel, but it's just, it's just cool. And then if I go up to the Jural Mountains, this is actually the top of the entire thing. Now, this is a real treat because normally it's real hazy up here. Look at the Imperial City down there. It's normally really hazy and you can't really see a lot. But, I mean, right now you can see everything. You can see Skyrim to the north. Look. See Skyrim? That's Skyrim up there. Just amazing. There's Bruma once again. And you can actually jump off and die. So, we don't want to do that. <laughs> we want to avoid falling off and dying. Now, let me go back down to the main level, and then I'm going to show you guys the vault. And there's a little bit of a quest, like an unmarked quest down here. Now, these are our friends. They're the vault guardians. Um, there's nothing really... I don't think there's anything of value in any of these chests. But we could use them 
to store stuff if we really wanted to. Now, I don't really care to, because you don't. there's not really a limit to how much stuff you can put inside of a chest. So I like to put mine in my, like, living quarters. But it's still pretty cool. I'm just checking to see if there's anything useful in here while I'm here. Sackcloth, sandals. I mean, whoever lived here before really cleaned the place out. See, lockpick. Like that. Calipers and a ladle. I mean, come on, people. Yeah, so that is it. And I think this one's here, too. Yeah. So there is a particular... Let me see if I can find it. Particular mark, a landmark back here somewhere. That would give us a little bit more information about who used to live here. And again, I, 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 I'm going to have to remember... I'm going to have to try hard to remember exactly where this is. And I'm hoping that I don't, I don't get stuck in a spot, which has happened before. Ooh, here's um a bunch of wine. Ooh, repair hammer. Nice. Another, another repair hammer. The more of those I can take, the better. Okay. A uh, bunch of wine. Surly Brothers. Cheap wine. Blah, blah, blah. And then you have a Shadow Banished wine. Which is useful. I'm going to go ahead and take that. Okay. Um... Yeah, see, I don't remember exactly where this thing is that I'm looking for right now. Oh, there it is. Rinzi. Diedrich Lava Whiskey added. Here lies Rinzi, acclaimed archer and celebrated aficionado of Tamrielic Ales. We honor him for his bravery and for his famous Diedrich Lava Whiskey, discovered during the perilous expedition to Dagon's realm. Pretty cool. And then here is Lanassan. Here lies a mysterious Lanassan, renowned mystery of master of writing and storyteller supreme. And apparently I was just gifted with something. I've been gifted with a lot of things. <laughs> Look at this. Lanassan's Touch. There it is. Okay, so if I go down, you can see there, uh, Lanassan's Touch gives me Fortified Personality 10. Uh, and then uh, I think, yeah, Mergentil too. So, pretty cool. Just kind of like little um, little Easter eggs in here. Now, every single one of the, you know, DLC, you have to, remember you have to buy the Frostcrag Spire, aka the Wizard Tower. Um, but if you buy the full pack, then it's all included. But all of these places have little Easter eggs like that and um, it's, it's kind of cool it kind of brings the place alive to life okay yeah so that pretty much covers the uh, the wizard tower which is pretty sweet so now um, now that I've done that I actually need to actually dump stuff hold on so what I do is generally speaking I'll put like clothing in here I'll put jewelry and alchemy stuff in there and then this chest will receive my weaponry. So, everything that I can dump that's a weapon, I'm going to dump here. Including the, the, the mace of whoever. Sword of the Crusader, even. Because uh, I do want to get a better sword here pretty soon. Amulet of Kings. Amulet of Reflect. Oh, well, these are, yeah. Black Hand. i got to make a decision here. Which armor should I wear? Uh, I get the Black Hand. I've got, uh, well, obviously I'm not going to take the Black Marsh. Um, helmet with me, uh, but I don't want to wear the cuirass of the crusader and all that stuff So I'm gonna go ahead and dump all this gonna get naked. It's my bedroom. Okay, don't judge me do what I want uh, and then um, The Seaver's finery. I don't need that um, And I guess everything else can go I mean like books and stuff can go in a chest too. I guess let's go ahead and dump all this stuff I don't really need anything on me right now I'm gonna try to dump everything that it'll allow me to dump. All this stuff is like quest, quest items, which is unfortunate because it doesn't let me drop stuff that's like quest items. I'm gonna keep all the keys on me. Soul Jam, there's a lock pick. Roderick's medicine can go in there too. And that'll do. Okay, so there's that. Uh, I'm gonna put some Jewelry and whatnot in here. I don't know which jewelry I want to wear. Obviously, the stuff that's not enchanted, I don't need right now. Oh, I don't need the Shield of Crusader. This is, I mean, this is a necessary thing, but I wanted to show you guys this whole process because um, maybe you're playing alongside or you're, you're just really paying attention to details and you want to know, like, 
you know, what I'm doing with, with which items that I'm, that I have or whatever, what, what I'm going to be wearing, what I think is more important or what, what I think is better. So like right now we have, uh, this would be a plus 15 boost. This stuff is only a plus 10. So technically the black hand stuff is better than the shrouded armor. So I'm going to go ahead and put away, even though I prefer the way the shrouded armor, armor looks, uh, I'm going to go ahead and, uh, dump all that. Also, I'm gonna keep all that on me. Cheap wine, lava whiskey, human blood. I'm gonna go ahead and put away all this stuff. Healing, sorcery, keep all that. Shadow banish, wine, put that away. But I think that's a, a quest item. Suli Brothers, wine. Um, put all this away too. I don't need all this. Vampire stuff. Very good. So I've actually dumped quite a bit of 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 weight. Look at that, 127 out of 295. So I, what I need to do is decide like which things I want to wear. So like for instance, I got Ring of Namira. This is a reflect damage and spell. Or I could have the Black Band, which will increase light armor security and uh, resist magic 3%. So I think I'm actually going to wear the Black Band because I've got the Black Band and I've got the um, Jewel of Rumer. And then the amulet of, oh, I've got Cruelty's Heart, Willpower and Strength or Reflect Spell. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to get rid, I'm just going to go ahead and dump the rest of the jewelry out. Amulet of Reflection, Ring of Namira, Sir Amiel's Ring. Very good. Okay, so I think that is everything that I'm going to dump. I can't dump anything else, unfortunately. Quest items and such. But now I am down to 125 out of 295 weight units, which is just absolutely perfect. So uh, now guys, uh, wow, it took 20 minutes to, to get myself resettled in for a big time, uh, I guess you could say a paradigm shift in how I'm gonna be playing this game, where the next thing I do is move on. Now, I, I realize this would be a little bit confusing that I've, I've, sent, I've spent all this time getting set up in a wizard's tower to then not go into the Mages Guild. I will eventually go into the Mages Guild. The reason why I'm not going to now is because my magic is so low. I really need to work on that before I go into the Mages Guild. So I'm actually going to go into the Fighters Guild next so that I can uh, accumulate a little bit more percentage, uh, not percentage, uh, uh, levels and such, and um, level up so that I can get better intelligence, so that I can have more magicka, so that I can be successful in the Mages Guild because it's not super, super easy. Some of the quests are very challenging. Fighters Guild's a little bit more straightforward. So uh, guys, I think this is a good stopping point. Today was kind of, like I said, preparation for what will be a big change and a big shift in how I play this game. Next time though, we're not going straight into the Fighters Guild. I have at least one more side quest, maybe two, actually maybe two, if I could find me a head of lettuce. Kind of cool if there was, actually there may be lettuce over here. Kind of doubt it. This doesn't seem like a farm. This seems more like a, uh... Well, there's pumpkin. Kind of cool if there was lettuce in here somewhere. I'm not seeing it, though. Yeah, if I can find myself a head of lettuce, we may go ahead and jump in with the Shea Gorath quest. But I've got something else that I need to, to get done for the next episode before we jump into the fighters good but, but for now guys that's all for me thank you all so much for tuning in to this episode of elder scrolls 4 oblivion uh remember to like this video if you liked it and of course hit that subscribe button if you will for daily gaming videos remember that i love each and every one of you and i'll see you all again next time